welcome to Wild Size. Today we're gonna be learning how to make the ultimate spamwich. So let's get right to it. So the first thing you need for the ultimate spamwich is the lovely spam. So we are just going to be throwing our gelatinous mystery meat on the foil right here. So now time to add our barbecue sauce here. Uh, in the past I have used many types of barbecue sauce including honey barbecue sauce, Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, plain barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you like. We've got a roaring fire so we're going to have to pay close attention as to not singe our meat. Just pop a dollop on and we are going to utilize our universal tool, the tongs, and just spread it around. We are going to add some pineapple rings to our ultimate sandwich. I can't handle the heat. Ah. I'm going to catch on fire. So every fire tends to have a hot spot and a not so hot spot and once I'm done cooking the Spam it is a bit charred and blackened and uh, pretty well done. I'm going to go ahead and scoot it to the side so that it can stay warm but not too warm and we will put pineapple center stage so they can get some little burn marks. So now we can prepare our third ingredient here. We've got brown sugar pop tarts and those are going to go ahead and be our bread layers because brown sugar and ham go hand in hand. Oh gosh, it's shrink wrap. <laughs> <laughs> so as I am a highly trained chef in creating ultimate spamwich, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these pop tarts in tin foil, not throw them on the fire because bad things happen when you do that. And we're going to go ahead and just place it so that it can get toasty warm. Boom, pop tarts. And they are good to go. So here we have a fine cut of spam cooked medium rare. As you can see, it's got sear marks there for presentation. And over here we've got a lightly toasted brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. As you can see, it was cooked on a uh, wood burning fire. And over here we have got a lightly seared pineapple ring. And right here we've got a quarter slice of lime to add a bit of zest to the whole sandwich. And then to top it off we've got some fresh pig cilantro from the produce section of the grocery store with some light drizzle of water as you can see for presentation. So now, time for the moment of truth. I put my heart and soul into the sandwich here and we are going to give it a little taste test and see how it came out. So I have chosen flavors that will hopefully complement each other. So we'll go ahead and see if my food theory turns out to be true. Might need a putty knife for this part. Alrighty, there we go. So here we have the ultimate spam, which three, two, one. Now that ain't half bad. Actually makes tana sp <laughs> actually makes spam taste pretty darn good. The sweetness of the pop tart and the pineapple and the goodness melty cheese is just all ties together. It's pretty darn good, I do have to say. So, 
if you have all these ingredients just sitting in your cupboard and you have no idea what to do with them, go ahead and throw yourself together an ultimate sandwich because it is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the ultimate spam sandwich. My name is Alec. Stay wild, and we'll see you next time. But we're going to go ahead and unscrew the cap to prepare for squirtage. <laughs> Maybe not squirtage.